Oh, it's here. There's stuff. Oh, that's good. Here, you think that? Oh, yes. Hmm? Oh, hello, folks. Hello, folks. I'm eating with my mouth full. Here, I have to do something like this here. For I am the one. The only hobo Tom. Um, this video is going to go up very quickly. Mainly because, well, let's, let's, see, let's change the reverb a little bit. Less reverb is good. Wearing my Bullet Club shirt. Because I just came back from, welcome to Roxville. It's still Friday. Or my head is still Friday, even though it's Saturday. That's okay, though. Doesn't matter. I'm here to talk about one thing, and one thing only. Well, for right now. And that's full gear. So you know what? Hit my music. Uh, uh. That wasn't my music. My music. Give my predictions about full gear. Um, I am working tomorrow at Rockville, and I will post that video up. And there, it will not be PG-13 rated. There will be women's body parts, very prominently featured in the second video, so that I can just say, "Yeah, this is my trip there," and that stuff's done. So there's gonna be more music, more women's posteriors. More women's exposed, taped up nipples? That's weird though. I digress though. Let's talk about some full gear predictions. Um, again, I won't be watching this show, but I still want to make some predictions and some good guesses as to what is going to happen. Let's start with this probably undercard. Pack and Cody Rhodes taking on Malachi Black and Andrade El Ilo. If I was watching this, I wouldn't care. I would take a snooze during this match. Anyway, I'll say Pack and Cody Rhodes wins. You have to start the, the crowd off happy. Wow, there would be a bunch of snooze matches. Then we'll probably have. Christian Cage and the Jurassic Express versus the Super Click, or as I like to call them, Bullet Club for life. They're too sweet, and you know what? They're going to two win for life. There is no way Adam Cole, baby, is getting a loss along with the Young Bucks. The Bucks of Youth. Yes, Brother Nero. Uh, so the Super Click's going to win. Yeah, um, that's pretty much given. Then we have uh, Britt Baker versus Ty Conti. Britt Baker is not dropping that belt yet. Ty Conti, unless we see a wardrobe malfunction, she's losing. Britt Baker retains her AEW Women's Championship belt. Lucha Brothers versus FTR. Mainly because it is for the A, the Triple A Championship. Triple A is having a show in December. I don't think Triple A is happy with FTR taking the belts off the Lucha Brothers. Personally, I would not want to upset anyone in Triple A. If I upset someone in WWE, you get fined and, and say, no, you're not dealing with us anymore. I can live with that. Who knows with AEW, they'll, they'll, they'll probably forgive you 20 times over. Impact is be like, yeah, just go away for a while and we'll hire you back sometime. New Japan? Suzuki would beat the crap out of you. 
Tomoharu Ishii would be the crap out of you. The other guy who's very famous for being the crap out of, who's for shooting and being the crap out of people would beat the crap out of you. But I say, you just have three people to worry about. Whatever, I'll take my beating and I'll go. Triple A. They have the whole gang mentality going. All of them would kick your ass. With like chairs, steel pipes, baseball bats, knives, guns. Wait a second, knives and guns, that's murder. Yeah, I'm not pissing off Triple A. Lucha Brothers are winning. I'll tell you what though. This is going to be my match of the night. And then we have the Inner Circle versus... Ethan Page, Scorpio Sky, and America Top Team. Dan Lambert somehow is getting the pin, is eating the pin. Inner Circles wins. Brian Danielson versus Miro for a future title shot. Brian Danielson has to pick up that win. Miro, he can live without it. Brian Danielson. For Adam Page in three months, kind of works. Right, cheese butt? You're fluffy. Oh, probably another some pre show match. I don't know why I mentioned this. They have like 10 matches Nyla Rose and Jamie Hayter versus Hikaru Shida and Thunder Rosa. Only because Hikaru Shida has the most perfect ass, and Thunder Rosa, with her face paint, is one of the most gorgeous women avail available. I think. I should look that up before I say such blatant statements. Hikaru Shida and Thunder Rosa will win. Well, let's see here. Oh, wait a second. There's only one way that I can do justice to this. Actually, there's only... Well, I can do justice to a few things. Let's see here. So let's put this microphone back on the other side. Oh, that sounds better for some reason. That's weird. But we're going to have Eddie Kingston versus this individual. Let's see here. There we go. Where is it? Oh, here it is. No, that's not it. Darn it. What the heck's wrong with this? Why are there so many ads? Why can't I get ads? Gosh darn it. Oh, I do want to see that video of that woman peeing in the guy's mouth. That's freaking disgusting. Yes. It's in a language that everyone understands. C. M. Punk. So you know what? Wow, this is rocking out because I just came from Rocksville. I will be posting that video Monday. I hope. It shouldn't take too long to make, actually. What do you see? Cult of personality. You know what? C. M. Punk wins. And that, folks is my stone cold lock. So that's good, we don't need any more person. We... There we go. So we don't need any more cult of personality for a little bit. But let's see here. Then we're gonna have Darby Allen versus MJF. Um, honestly, I don't know. That's pretty good, though. You know what? I'll say MJF is going to win. MJF needs to rack up some wins. And then... Wait a second. What's what, what's that familiar sound I hear? Wait, what, what's that? Did someone say... For... Life... 
because they're too sweet. So while this this theme plays, and I go into reverb mode, we have two former members of Bullet Club. Oh yeah. Hangman, Adam Page, the challenger, takes on the cleaner, Kenny Omega. Both are too sweet, but you know what? The Hangman, Adam Page, is Bullet Club for... Life and therefore Hangman Adam Page is too sweet and therefore with all conclusions Hangman Adam Page is the new champion. So now that the reverb is over, those are my predictions for Full Gear. I will not be mentioning it. Maybe I'll mention it Monday, my Raw Review Show. Um, bunch of news and notes. I have a whole list of thank yous to give out. Those are going to be going out uh, Sunday, Monday, sometime. That's going to be a double, double, double show of past Raw Reviews. I will be doing a raw review. I didn't get to go to the bank today. That's upsetting me. But, um, so Monday night, uh, probably more likely Tuesday or sometime I'll be, yeah, Monday night I should be able to do it. Monday night I should be able to put up that, that Monday night's raw review. We'll see though. Subject to change. Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a just a review of NXT because it's, it's spa day. I get to bust out the bathing suit. You might even see said bathing suit on me. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, that's going to be a review. Uh, Wednesday, I work late. Can't do anything. Thursday, typical live stream for Impact Wrestling. That'll be the Gome show for... I'm hard to kill. I won't be able to cover hard to kill because I again have to work till nine thirty that night. They like to work me a lot, but that's good. It means this it means I own my truck quicker too. If only YouTube would give me this now, that'd be pretty cool. Um, Friday I will be. However, I will be doing my AEW live stream for Rampage. That's only an hour. And sometime next week, probably Thursday. Although I could see me doing it Friday night after AEW, I'll be doing a Impact Hard to Kill Predictions video. With that being said, to thank everyone out there, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see everyone later.